Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 15th, 2023. Well, my goodness, yesterday, holy moly, um, CPI number came in much better than expected. The market took that um, with just a huge leap um, up, leaving a giant gap behind. Um, as we continue to race to the upside. Uh, can we continue this today? Well, there's a possibility. We have uh, European markets are up across the board this morning. We had um, Asian markets really zooming last night um, with Hong Kong up 3.92%, moving up strongly. And Nikkei was up 823 points on the day. So lots of strength. Um, in those markets. What's interesting is that even with this kind of great data, China didn't do all that well, up um, half a percent um, on the day. Um, but European markets are showing lots of strength across the board here this morning. Oil is just slightly lower here this morning, um, showing just a little tiny bit of pressure. And then we have our bond yields. Our bond yields are ticking back higher here this morning, just ever so slightly. Nothing major, but they are moving back up with the two year at 4.85%. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, let's try to shake off um, any kind of bias in here, and let's take a look at these charts, see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, obviously, this move yesterday, I had marked out this level right in here as an area to be watching for the next um, area of resistance, but instead, we took that CPI data and we just blew it out. Blew straight through here, stretching up um, in the chart in a really big way. Next resistance level up here in the chart's going to be right up in here to see if we can pop on through there. Lots of strength here in the market. Um, as a matter of fact, this morning we've already received um, um, an earnings report from Target. Target beat um, earnings on uh, top and bottom line. What's interesting is while they did that, their sales continue to decline. Hmm. So we lower estimates enough so that they can make sure to hit those and then we buy it up as, as we hit those, but their sales are declining. Kind of an interesting circumstance here in the market. But looking um, here at the diamonds, we can see that pressing to the upside here, if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration today, I would suggest coming right up into here to see if we can push on through there. Now remember, once we stretch this this hard, it's, it's not out of the question that we see some kind of a pullback coming um, relatively soon here in the market. But that doesn't mean it has to happen today and it doesn't mean that it cannot continue to that upside um, today as well. Now, if we do find that bearishness here uh, today, let's look for a pullback, maybe a pullback to retest um, yesterday's uh, close and possibly even that pullback to test yesterday's low. What we what's really going to be painful is once this uh, begins that possibility that we could come all the way back and fill that gap so kind of keep that in mind um, we'll want to watch that closely but we've got some data today that could continue to provide that bullish inspiration could also provide some bearish inspiration you just don't know what those numbers might reveal so watch that carefully if we take a look at our moving averages in here oh my goodness we have just taken off through this um, this chart just ripping to the upside you'll want to notice that our 50 day moving average cross down through the 200 day moving average but i don't think it matters it's going to turn straight back up because we have um, just absolutely exploded 
this market. Now, one of the things that we've been seeing in the earnings reports, in fact, I may do a video on this um, sometime today, is that um, uh, overall sales in the economy has been slowing and, and that may be interesting today with that retail sales number we could um you know the fact that the that the fed is reducing um the speed of inflation reducing inflation um is um, another way of saying they're slowing the economy and as they slow the economy sales decline all of those kind of nasty things happen like layoffs begin so watch watch that carefully here remember um, this is a double-edged sword that we're dealing with here as we slow the economy so but we're still very very bullish here at the moment if we take a look at our spy spy very very strong pushing a resistance level here in the chart. Um, every reason to believe that they could stretch out here, and I'll show you why I think there's a pretty good chance they will at least initially stretch this morning up here into that area. Uh, um, so if the bulls can continue to push, that's where I would look for that to go is up into that area. If the bears find inspiration today, then a pullback into here maybe to test yesterday's um, close and if um, they continue to push maybe yesterday's low and then after that of course we have a massive gap that could potentially be filled now the good news is there's a little bit of price support right in here that would maybe hold that temporary so kind of keep an eye on that our moving average is in here um, we're here again we're just really stretched away from uh, moving averages a pullback should be coming at any time this is just an extraordinary run-up a very emotional move in the market if we take a look at our QQQ this is one of the reasons why I think there's a pretty good chance we're going to stretch first thing this morning and you can see the move happening right now in the pre-market QQQ is right there ready to hit the um, all-time high in the market and that's what everybody's been hoping for now we're just going to go straight back to the top of the market well there we go and we might even break that out today in fact i would say get that close and not get that job done i'd be a little disappointed wouldn't you so um, expect that we're going to hit this resistance and maybe even break through now that doesn't mean we're going going to hold it um, if the bulls do find enough inspiration here today then the the key thing will be holding above that area of support um, remember breaking through doesn't necessarily mean however that we're going to hold so watch for that possibility that we would pop through if we do pull back and reverse then look for yesterday's high as an opportunity to catch a little bit of support if that does not hold then yesterday's low for that possibility hold of support and if that were to fail then our next level of price support is right down in here um, and then even the gap fill so just be a little bit careful and cautious here um, eventually we're going to have to take a longer consolidation or a substantial pullback in the market so be prepared for that if we take a look at our moving averages look how far we're stretched away from our 50-day moving average in this straight up very emotional run to the upside be really really careful remember a slowing economy means slowing sales which usually means layoffs are on the way so um, just kind of keep that in mind if we take a look at our IWM IWM finally got in the game yesterday big move in IWM in fact it really played catch up look at this volume spike here yesterday pushing up into um, a pretty darn substantial price resistance um, area in the chart so if we can continue to push through um, just watch this big resistance level right here if the bulls continue to find that inspiration if they can push through there where our next level is right up in here it's also a very strong area of price resistance but the good news is for the first time we've been able to break out 
of this downtrend. So um, starting to show some signs here of some turnaround here on IWM and maybe some catch up happening in here. But if the bears were to find some inspiration in here today, a pullback maybe to test um, yesterday's high uh, could be a possibility. If that doesn't hold, notice we've got some support right down here along um, the highs right here in the chart and maybe even that trend break. If that doesn't hold, then we're back down here toward the bottom of the candle. And then of course, there's a big gap that has that potential of being filled if the bears really were to get engaged. If we take a look at our um, VIX, you're gonna find um, kind of interesting with such a big move yesterday. Um, and notice we took out the low of the other day in here, but didn't hold it. A uh, little bit of selling came in at the end of the day and we pushed this back up. What we are doing though is we have dropped this so dramatically we're starting to reach a point of complacency here in the market. So we'll want to watch that carefully as we continue to surge. I, I suspect VIX will be lower here this morning with the gap up that we're looking at um, in the pre-market unless something in the data changes that. So um, could be just a little bit on uh, on the side of complacent um, at the moment as we chase. So be really, really careful chasing stocks that are overextended like this. There, uh, I know the fear of missing out is a tremendously strong emotion, but at the same time, if this were to whipsaw or reverse, boy, it's gonna be really painful for those. The last ones in the door are gonna hurt a lot if that occurs. Let's take a look at our uh, T21-22. Our T21-22 yesterday just surged straight up into the bearish reversal zone here in T21-22. You'll notice we're up here at 97.11 and we're gapping up this morning. So we're gonna peg our T21-22 up here. Um, remember, it cannot go, it will not go above 100. Um, so very, very stretched out here um, in our four week new high, new low ratio and we have to be watching for that opportunity um, or that likelihood that a pullback is on the way. At, at a minimum, a rest in the market is likely. And um, what that means is, is if you're long positions, um, this morning's gap up might be a very good opportunity to be closing out some positions, um, reducing um, that risk for the pullback. If you are um, uh, interested in shorting, this would be the opportunity to maybe take some uh, take advantage of some uh, maybe some bear call credit spreads in the market on this gap up for that um, a very likely rest or pullback coming in the market. If we take a look at our T twenty one. 08 t2108 also surging dramatically we broke through this resistance level in the chart after pulling back um, the day before uh, just a little tiny bit broke through that resistance level pushing up strongly we're coming into another little bit of a resistance area here in the chart we're up almost 61% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average you got to imagine 13 days ago we were 15% um, of our stocks above their 40 day moving average and 13 days uh, in change and we have zoomed this high. So remember, once we start reaching these mid 60s um, areas up here toward the mid 70s, that's where we typically see um, just an extreme overbought condition in the market and then we pull back. So just be prepared for that. Our T2107, uh, T2107 finally catching up here, pushing through. We've got a nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern in here. We broke through this resistance, just really pushed nicely to the upside yesterday and that with a huge uh, spike in volume. 42% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. That's a nice improvement. You'll wanna watch right in here. There is a significant level of price resistance that we'll be watching here in the chart. Um, and this is in no way, shape, perform at risk at this point of being an overbought condition. Um, um, you know,
we don't have the Magnificent Seven in the small caps, and so that has um, really caused this to lag behind a lot. Then if we take a look at our T2101, T2101, it is nice yesterday because the bulls were so strong. We did see a breadth increase yesterday, but I gotta tell you, it wasn't as strong as I would have suspected. So what we may be starting to see is that bull actually is starting to wear out just a little bit. There's an exhaustion potentially coming and either a rest or a pullback in the market. It could be just around the corner, so watch that carefully. We should have really seen um, that breadth expand tremendously yesterday. It just just wasn't there. So um, just be prepared again for that rest or pullback in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. And our economic calendar, well, we've got a few things on here that could move us around substantially. Um, looking at this morning, we're gonna have a mortgage applications, keep an eye on that. Those have been problematic, but with the big decline that we're seeing here, um, next, the next reading could be pretty good. Maybe mortgage demand really starts to pop up with that decline that we're seeing um, right now in those um, rates. Um, taking a look, we've got a PPI final demand this morning. We'll want to watch that. Um, of course, we've had before where CPI is really good, PPI not so good. So you, you just want to watch that pretty closely, anything as possible. This is the one that I think that'll be the most important for today is probably that retail sales. Right now, they're expecting retail sales to come in negative. Um, it was 0.7 last time there. Consensus is looking for a, uh, a negative 0.3. If there's one that has a chance, I think, of really missing today to the downside, to the wrong side of the market here, it might be retail sales. And that's just simply because I think the economy has slowed so substantially and folks have just pulled back on their spending so substantially that that could change a lot. Now, it could be wrong, but watch that close. Then we've got um, Empire State manufacturing numbers that will be coming out. Unfortunately, when it comes to manufacturing, still bad. Um, negative three um, is what consensus is looking for. We have successfully ignored that though this entire uh, time of the market as if manufacturing just doesn't matter here in the United States anymore. And then we've got some Fed speak in here. Bar's going to be speaking. We've got business inventories. we got a petroleum status number coming in here. And we've got Barkin here toward the end of the day that we'll be speaking. As we look forward into Thursday, well, we're not out of the woods yet. We have a big slate of Fed speakers on um, Thursday. And then, of course, we've got jobless claims, Philly Fed, um, import export prices, industrial production will be an interesting number for tomorrow. Um, housing market index will be in there as well. And then toward the end of the day, we've got Treasury International Capital, um, the Fed balance sheet, and some bond auctions in there to be watching. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today. In our earnings calendar, we've got several notables here this morning. Um, I've already mentioned Target here. I'll run through a few others that will be interesting to watch. We've got um, Advanced Auto Parts that will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. It's been uh, really whippy here in the pre-market, whipping around quite a bit. So watch that one closely today. Uh, CTLT is on the list today, gapping higher, pushing into this um, big gap that could be filled. So watch that one close. Um, we're gonna have Cisco. Cisco will be later on today. Um, nice little uh, downtrend break here and a little bit of a higher low. So this could be a really important report to say whether or not we're gonna pop on through and be really bullish here or if this pulls back into this wedging pattern. Um, watch that one close. Uh, we're gonna hear from uh, JD.com. Uh, JD.com popping up here this morning in the pre-market. Looks like they've got a bullish uh, move going on. I'm not sure if that's the earnings report yet, but they're popping through some resistance. So watch that carefully. We're gonna hear from Sonos. Whoops, better get, better get the right symbol there. Uh, Sonos. 
We're going to hear from them today. We're going to also hear from uh, TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx has been just a, a, a booming stock um, this year and looks like we're breaking out here this morning. Um, full on, uh, let me check, yeah, all time highs here in uh, TJ Maxx and ripping here in the pre-market, breaking through resistance. So keep an eye on that. If you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please do me that favor become a subscriber to the channel I would really appreciate that click that subscribe button also click that bell icon when it pops up that way you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be worthy if you feel like I've earned that thumbs up please do me that favor click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I do try to answer um, uh, those, um, those responses. So if you have questions um, or suggestions, please put that in the, in the comments. Let's take a look at um, some stock setting up and remember these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security you're going to have to do your own due diligence be very very careful here in the market i would expect some incredible volatility over the next couple of days just because of this extreme extension that we have seen and and i think anything anything is possible so make sure you're prepared um, on on trading um, this kind of wild um, emotional market um, let's take a look um, here. TLT, I mentioned yesterday, TLT could be setting up here. And if the bonds are really going to change here soon, if, if our yields are coming down, we're going to see um, um, a resurgence likely back into bonds. And you can see we popped strongly yesterday. We're pulling back a little bit. That's what I want to see. Um, I don't want to chase a big gap. That's uh, That can really cause some damage to a chart, chasing a gap and then having it uh, pull all the way back because it doesn't support or hold. But watch this carefully. Um, if this comes back into here and holds in support, I would be watching that carefully. As a matter of fact, I have a bias on this because I am holding a position that is down right now, but I'm and it is a small position, but I'll be looking to add pretty substantial position in here if um, that starts to turn because this could go up for some time to the upside so watch that if you don't like TLT the 20-year Treasury you could look at some of the bond funds out there take a look at um, BND uh, BND might be something that you'd want to pay attention to um, also coming up in that pattern gapped up big yesterday look for that rest or pullback in here kind of hold some support and then look for that next opportunity to the upside. You can see here in BND, we've come out from under that downtrend. It's exactly what we want to be seeing up above that 50 day moving average, just like that TLT popping up through the 50 day moving average. And this is what we call a rounded bottom breakout and they can be very, very profitable trade patterns. So kind of keep an eye on that. If we uh, take a look at the dollar, UUP, now, UUP fell hard yesterday. Um, I would expect this to probably bounce around in here just a little bit, maybe even recover some of that initial loss. But if it continues to extend to the downside, you want to start taking a look at commodities. Take a look at gold. Gold surged yesterday up um, nicely. And um, any rest or pullback in here, breaking back through this area of support, any rest or pullback in here would set up the next opportunity to the upside in gold. Take a look at silver, SLV, moving up strongly and pushing through today. So we recovered this support area in the chart. Now silver's got a little bit more explaining to do maybe because of this downtrend, but boy, if we can pop through there and hold, 
If that dollar continues to weaken, commodities will typically rise. So watch carefully in here. Silver could continue to move up. If we're going to start, um, you know, just saying inflation is gone, bonds start coming back, dollar starts falling, um, watch all of those pretty carefully. Um, we even saw some copper like FCX coming, a copper miner coming up in here yesterday. Big pop up. This has got more work to do, but if the dollar continues to fall this is one of those very oversold stocks right now that may have that opportunity for a nice upside move as uh, that continues you may also want to be keeping an eye on things like steel take a look at Cleveland Cliffs breaking through this downtrend reversed here on that move yesterday in the dollar and popping back up you'll want to be keeping an eye on that if that continues to show that beautiful pattern in here where we cross through the downtrend and hold this higher low then look for that next opportunity to the upside in some of the steel stocks out there you may also want to be taking a look at uh, some of the home builder type stocks um, Home Depot, although they reported that sales, they, they were warning that sales um, um, were likely to decline moving forward. Well, we're seeing even home builders picking up here um, with a decline, a potential decline in rates. Home builders may come up, which uh, means Home Depot may um, see better sales. So watch that carefully in here. Um, a rest or pullback could set up an opportunity there in Home Depot. You you might want to keep an eye on Lowe's. Um, Lowe's is going to report here on the 21st, so it's got a little bit longer, but also getting a nice sympathy move along with Home Depot in here. Big pop to the upside. You can see, you may have to squint just a little bit to see it, but there's a bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern. Our neckline is along here. So breaking through that neckline, any rest or pullback now sets up that next opportunity to the upside in lows. Keep a close eye on that. Boy, when we look at stocks out there, there's not much that's um, looking um, a bad. A lot of things coming up out of bottoms um, in the market. Take a look at Chewy. Chewy has been really oversold this year just just pounded down here in the chart and we're starting to come back up and put in that higher low in here I've placed a price alert we did sell off but yesterday's move pushed us right back above that little support area so if we can hold in here and slip on out to trend I would look for that opportunity maybe coming along in chewy um, take a look at some of the um, uh, mining um, area of the market. If the dollar continues to fall and commodities are coming up, miners may come back in here. Now, GDX failed this inverted head and shoulders pattern that I was looking at in here. We broke that area of support, but notice we're coming right back. Watch that carefully. Get a little higher low put in here where we can hold, and if we can hold that higher low, we might actually push on through um, in GDX. Take a look at GDXJ as well. You might want to take a look at McDonald's. Um, I've been talking about this one since right here. Um, there was my initial alert. There's that first higher low in the market and we're just extending and following that trend to the upside looking good. I think any rest or pullback in here continues to set up that opportunity for McDonald's. And by the way, there's that round of bottom breakout again. We break that 50 day moving average. We hold the next place. The target up here is up here around this resistance and that 200 day moving average. It's just hanging right out up there saying there's more upside likely to come here in McDonald's. So keep a close eye on those. And I'm just seeing there's stocks all over the place that are so incredibly extended out. They're likely due to get um, some kind of resting pullback, but it may not be today. We may continue to move through to the upside. So watch those stocks carefully. Um, there's a ton to choose from more than I can even come close to covering here this morning. So I hope that was helpful every, everyone. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here supporting the channel. Um, uh, seriously, it means a lot to me. Thank you very much for taking the time to um, 
leave those comments and, and it just helps a bunch. Um, thank you so much. I will see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. I want to wish you all the very, very best today. Take care now.